Monday morning going through clock punches and everything. So it's not just me and Karen, it's a foreman, it's tracking people down. So it's critical to watch to make sure it says in and it says out. I mean, it's pretty cool. In acceptance, sorry. So, all right, so there's another thing. Just make sure, okay? So please, just take the time to do it. It saves a lot of time for everybody downstream, okay? Uh, all right, we had a real nice improvement on the lubricant cart. So the different presses and different lubricants we need. So as you can see, it's all organized. It's all we've got labels on it and where it goes. And also with the lubricant underneath it so it can be refilled. So Marty's, uh, I don't even think we could have an, a before because it was all over the place. So it's not really a before. So uh, the after is obviously a lot more organized, a lot easier to do. Nice job, Marty. Right, and also winners up coming up. So Marty was nice enough to make sure we have it organized for second and third shift, especially that in the one cabinet that's back in uh, maintenance that we have jumper cables and also a charger in case somebody's battery is dead because it's cold it's coming up. So I know we had a lot of problems last year because obviously it was so cold last year. Let's hope we don't have the same issue. But Marty's got us prepared. So thank you, Marty, for doing that. Good job. Thank you. All right, also, who's Timothy Wisniewski? Timothy, right over here. Timothy's a new employee in the maintenance department, a new employee owner, so if you get a chance, say hi to Timothy over here. He can come up and uh, take his bow for us. So, Timothy Wisniewski's new, so we appreciate it. So, welcome to board. And I think I said it right, so, all right? Um, all right, so don't forget, uh, ISC's going to be here in about a half hour. Uh, we have Chapin tomorrow and Thursday the audit. So again, the critical thing to this afternoon at 2 o'clock, I'm sorry, so they switched, I forgot, sorry. So they'll be here at 2. Don't forget about the audit, the rules, and obviously filters, grinders, dust, all that stuff support for the, those jobs, okay? All right. Alright, so we're talking about engineers and pilot teams create, create a uh, learning from past problems. When a new plant is launched, in, or a new vehicle is launched in an existing plant, engineering is responsible for developing the product and manufacturing process. They then turn over the responsibility for building a, a quality product to the plant. Toyota is a manufacturing company first and is driven into the engineers that they must always support manufacturing. This support starts early in the development of new vehicles and what Toyota costs simultaneous engineering. Simultaneous engineering of the product and manufacturing process. There are a variety of computer tools to support this and Toyota uses them all, but the real focus is on people, capturing the knowledge from past vehicles, including getting input from those who build the car. Toyota has been steadily moving simultaneous engineering earlier and earlier to the point where manufacturing representatives are now part of the study groups looking at artistic renderings in the form of the clay models of the vehicle. They are commenting, commenting on the aspects of the style will make the manufacturing difficult and helping with solutions. Product engineers are somewhat distant from the shop floor, but they are experienced manufacturing firsthand within months of joining the company. In Japan, Toyota hires a freshman class of engineers in the spring every year. All these engineers spend two to three months of their first year working on production, doing the jobs of hourly team members. They will be part of the work team and assemble or stamp body parts or make buffers. The goal is to start to learn that engineers should the goal is to start to learn that engineers should get their hands dirty and the products and processes they develop should support the team members on the line. Okay. So Gary Comis explains the development of the young engineer this way. In Toyota's evaluation of engineers, we highly evaluate and put people in positions of working on the plant floor. Our engineers are dirty handed engineers. If they are going to excel in Toyota, they have to respect appreciate and find ways of adding value to the actual production operation and the plant floor. That is prerequisite of, to be as successful as an engineer. The floor experience, you will live on the floor for eight hours. You have to have a special character to do that. If you don't, you are gonna, you're you going to be in the wrong kitchen. We are trying to tell them what it will be like, but some may or may not appreciate it, but that does not change the fact that it is the way, that is what it takes to be successful in Toyota. Okay? So obviously supporting the guys on the production floor is the key thing here. Okay? We'll hold off on the video. Okay. Alright, Rose got a what's a little announcement. Good morning. Good morning. 
don't run off to the leader. Um, you know, everybody here, I think, has come to grips with the ideals and the philosophies behind we are a company of change, okay? I'm here this morning to announce another change that we've made in the company, which I, I think is really going to help us move forward, okay? I think most of you know that I'm the president and CEO of Hanson Plastics. Effective immediately today, I have uh, presented to the board of directors and I have approved Tim's promotion to president of Hanson Plastics, okay? So from today forward, Tim is in charge of all day-to-day -day operations, all right? Thanks, Tim. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, also, I want to make sure we point out uh, Chris Schitt, Jose, and your team, good job. We didn't have any scrap rates over 4%, so you guys did a great job. So give a hand, nice job. So, okay. uh, any questions? Yeah, Jose, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. CEO. Yeah, so just split Roy in half. Okay. So, yeah. All right, any other questions? Yeah, feel free to stop in if you have any questions later, okay? And don't forget, there's a board over here for the new plan and suggestions and ideas. Just write it down. It doesn't matter if it, we can, we'll get most of it, even if it's hard to read. My writing's the worst, so don't worry, okay? All right, thank you.